Hey, what's going on? Tommy from Fight Camp here, and in this video, we're gonna be sharing the five most common boxer stance mistakes to avoid. So this video is for you if you're just getting into boxing, trying to learn how to box, if you're trying to learn how to box from home, or if you're just looking for some tips on how to improve your boxing stance. Okay, so before we get started, I want you to let me know in the comments section below where you're currently at in your boxing journey and some of the things that you might be struggling with. All right, so let's get into this. Mistake number one with the boxing stance that you see all too often with beginners is people who stand too square. So standing square is terrible for a number of reasons. Number one, it lines you perfectly up to get hit with straight punches. It's not defensively sound. Reason number two is that it's gonna rob you of a lot of your punching power. So if you already have weight that's distributed onto your lead leg and it's not evenly distributed, the punches from your rear side are gonna lack that weight ammunition that you need to generate force. So here's an example. I'm standing in my stance and I'm square, right? And I have weight distributed on my lead leg. If I wanna then go throw a cross, I'll still get a little bit of power on it, but I don't have that same momentum that I would be able to get if I started with a proper stance and a lot of weight on my rear leg. So you're in your square stance, you throw that cross, you have no real power on it. And then another after effect of that is when you follow up with that lead hand punch, you throw it. And if you have that tendency to stay square, you're not gonna distribute your weight properly back to that rear leg. So that's boxing stance mistake number one. Boxing stance mistake number two is improper placement of your feet while in your stance. Now remember, you wanna line your lead toe up with your rear heel and you want those feet to be parallel with each other like a set of train tracks. Now what you see very, very often is that people either stand with those feet not parallel in more of a kickboxing stance like this, or you'll see people that get into these positions where they're either in too much of a split, which is gonna rob you of a lot of your power and range, or they get their feet way too close together, which is gonna rob you of balance big time. So where you see this play out a lot is when people start stepping and punching. So I'll give you an example. If you're back here and you wanna throw a couple jabs and step, you oftentimes see people, they will throw the jab, they'll throw another one, and then they'll throw a third one and they'll see that they step too far with their lead leg not far enough with their rear leg and they're in a split. The same can happen by bringing the rear leg in too much with each step. All right, common mistake number three, standing up too straight, locking your knees in place and sticking your chin way up in the air. It's something that you see all too often. Now remember, the proper way to stand is with your knees bent, your hands up and every punch that you throw, you wanna make sure that you tuck your chin in that punch. All right, common mistake number four is standing too flat-footed in your stance. This is boxing. You wanna be able to move. You wanna be in athletic stance. You wanna be on the balls of your feet so you can kind of float around that ring like Muhammad Ali. All right, common boxing stance mistake number five is leaving way too much weight on the lead leg. And this is something that I see a lot. It frustrates me. It's something that I try to correct in boxers the most. When you have all that weight on the lead leg, it's similar to being in that square stance that leaves you very open, especially for those big right hands. All right, to review, the five most common mistakes with the boxing stance are number one, standing too square and leaving yourself open. Number two, improper placement of your feet. Make sure that they're parallel to each other like a set of train tracks. Number three, standing too straight up with your chin way up in the air leaves you open. Number four, being too flat-footed. Be up on the balls of your feet so that you're ready to be athletic and to move around that ring. And then finally, number five, having way too much weight on the lead leg. I see people boxing like this all the time with their head, put, lining their head perfectly up for that big right hand that they'll definitely get hit with if they don't fix it. So work on those common mistakes, polish up that stance, and thank you for joining me. All right, so we make new videos like this every single week. Subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you can be one of the first to know when we upload new content. I'll see you in the next video.